So as I start to wrap up, I'm going to give you four things on how you can start winning immediately in this business at a level that you've maybe never been to. Number one, you got to dominate in the personal recruiting, personal licensing game. You have to dominate in the personal recruiting, personal licensing game. Eric Olson is just about to promote his 100th direct SMD. He's got four MDs that have already qualified. They're sticking around in his base shop till June. Why would you want to leave a base shop that size? They're not taking their promotion. He's going to have 100 directs. This is a personal recruiting, personal licensing game. All your credibility comes from your personal recruiting and personal licensing in this game. The wider, the better. The more directs that are licensed, the better you're going to be. The more, the more authority you're going to have with your team, the better your base shop's going to be, the more energy there's going to be, the better place your base shop is to be recruiting, the better your hierarchy is going to be, your super base, your super team, 5, 10, 20 years from now, your, 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 your family will reap the fruits of that hard labor. Number two, second, uh, the second thing, increase recruiting numbers as a team. This is a recruiting and building era. Hey, 10 years ago, you could get away with not recruiting and not getting left behind. Right now, you, you, if you don't want to get left behind, you must be recruiting. Absolutely going wild recruiting the right people. Five a month is just to almost survive. You're not surviving at five recruits a month. You're going backwards. 10, you're holding above water. 20, you're exploding. Get your base shop to 30 or 40, you're, you're on pace to make half a million bucks the next two years. Just depends on why you're here. But recruiting zero or one, you're just, you're just hanging on. You're hanging on. And that might be okay for you. The problem is five years from now, you're not going to be able to catch back up. You will not be able to catch back up in five years from now for a lack of recruiting over the next five. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is a very, very special era and a short window that we have. It's a short window and it's already closing. This window is already closing for many reasons. And I'm not going to go over that. It's already closing. Number three, you have to adopt the mindset that every recruit you bring in gets licensed. Every recruit we bring in gets licensed. Here's what I don't want to hear anymore. I don't want to hear, I'm, I'm focusing on a 30% licensing ratio. As soon as you say 30%, you're telling the world that only 30 out of 100 are going to get licensed. So know what you do, Joelle? You say, the, the girl that comes in, you go, ah, she's probably just one of the 70. Subconsciously, we can't be saying that anymore. Everybody we recruit gets licensed. Everybody. Everybody. We're targeting 100% licensing ratio. Nobody gets recruited unless they're committed to get into licensing right away. Does that make sense? Say yes. yes. We don't need recruits. Every year we do millions of them in this company. We license this. I won't promote an associate of my base shop unless the three recruits they do are in licensing. I won't, pr I won't promote. I'm not handing any more 5530 jackets out unless those five recruits every month all are in the course. I'm not giving any recognition for just recruiting anymore. Zero. 99% of our recruits should buy the course within the first 48 hours. And if not, last month, we turned away 14 recruits that weren't ready to get into licensing in 48 hours. 14 recruits we turned away. None of them were from NABI. And eight or nine of them are going to join in March because they weren't ready to get into licensing right away. We didn't code them. Sharp people too. Accountants, nurses. You're not ready to get licensed? You're not a part of this team. Does that make sense? Yeah. We have to get, now, talk to your senior marketing director, whatever they say goes. But I am licensing, we are focused on licensing every single person that we bring into the business and we're focused on driving big recruiting numbers. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Awesome. And the last thing is net licensing. Every single licensed agent should make their first thousand dollars in the first 30 days. It's not their fault they're not, it's our fault. It's not their fault they don't make that money, it's our fault. It's weak leadership that leads to low net licensing. It's the leader's fault. Oh, so-and-so got licensed and they're, they're, not, they're not booking meetings. Well, you mean they spent 100 hours in licensing and $1,000 to get licensed and you're going to sit here and tell me they haven't made any money in three months because they don't want to book appointments? That's a you problem. That's a leader problem. Step up. Have a, have a crucial confrontation. Get aggressive. Get in their face. Dude, you started here to make no money? You're going to spend two grand this year for nothing? 
Should we get your wife on the call and see if she's cool with that? How about we make some calls? Let's go. Let's get fired up. You came here to change your life. You haven't made any money yet, brother. I believe in you. Let's go. Everybody gets licensed and every license makes a thousand bucks. And that's how we take this thing to 30 million points. It's between 1,000 and 1,500 licenses. We're on pace to be at the end of the year, 800 at the end of this year. And if we license everybody we recruit, which is our mindset, what, 30 million points next year? What part of that is yours? Are you fired up? Yeah. yeah. I hope you are. Because your enthusiasm and your energy and your aura and your example is what's going to make or break your team. Your words, ah, they don't really mean much. Anybody can say the right things. How's your energy? How's your enthusiasm? How's your clarity? How's your communication? Where are you going? If I spend the next 20 years right beside you, am I going to end up where I need to end up? Or am I on the wrong team? That's what every new person is asking themselves. Did I get recruited to the wrong team? And if they're on the slight edge dream team, they're already on the right team. The question is, do they have the right leader in you? And that's why I love WFG. Because it's not Pauline's fault. It's not Jared's fault. It's not Don's fault. It's me. It's just me. <laughs> I have to do me. And by doing the right things that I talked about, guess what? Everything else happens. Everything else happens according to plan. We're, we're at where we're at because of the decisions that I've made over the past. Now, if I want to ramp it up, I have to make new decisions. That's why this business is the greatest business on the planet, because it's a thinking business. So as we close out, I'm going to challenge you. The next five years, this company is going from 62,000 licenses to 500,000 licenses. And you can just imagine the things that we're going to be asking for with 500,000 licenses. There's going to be some mega wealth that's going to start from this company. My question is, are you going to be a part of it? Are you obsessed? Are you putting in the work? Or are you showing up at 9.30 in the morning and you're leaving at like 1.15 in the afternoon because you've had a really busy day? And if that's you, I'm cool with that. That's not going to be me. Right? That's not going to be me. You guys can rely on me. You can count on me. You put all your faith in me. You can count on me to lead by example. I'm going to get personal recruits. I'm going to share those with you. I'm going to lead by example. And I'm going to let all of my results and all of my energy and just my aura lead by example so that I can just help light the path for everybody else. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, you guys. Let's have an awesome day. We'll see you in a bit. MDSMB call starting now.